What's up guys, Joe here. Welcome back to my channel and today we are back with stage 12 of La Vuelta a España here on PCM 2020 and we have the mythical Angleroo to conquer today with Emric Mass really posing a challenge to Primoz Roglic. Getting underway then and of course Emric Mass 28 seconds behind Primoz Roglic. We want that red jersey currently just behind us on the roads and in the GC and Again, I do want to put some riders in the breakaway, but instead I'm going to relay on the front for this first flatter section. Maybe try some moves on the first couple of climbs to try and get in the breakaway. So current situation then up the road, we do have a pretty big group. So Arcas is going to up this to 70, just 70 for now. We'll pace a lot more on the climbs and you can see the riders trying to again get in the breakaway. Elison, Champusan, he's a very good rider seemingly. Gino Marda, Formolo. Carthy as well so again a very very strong breakaway with Mike Woods as well so we've now reached the climbs and this is where Arcas is going to try and make the difference push it to even 84 um, our guys are just going to try and sit in for now Arcas probably won't be able to do it by himself uh, but we're slowly going to try and bring in some of these guys so we can attack up to the stronger guys from this group. So Arcas has done a wonderful job today. Still just 2 minutes and 20 seconds to that breakaway up the road. It's all down to him. He has been pacing pretty much all day on the front. I'm going to try and now put a Viti, maybe Rojas as well to the front. Let's do that right here. So uh, when Arcas is done for the day, these guys can take over on this climb and already maybe starting to see a few guys struggle in the breakaway. So Arcas is done for the day. Again, what a rise by this man today on a minus three day. He has done so, so well. We now have a Viti coming to the front on 84. You can see the damage being done to this group. Hopefully we can maybe try and bridge up to them soon. Um, if not, we may have to wait for the penultimate climb. So big damage has been done to the breakaway and it splits all over the roads. I'll just scroll through so you can see which riders are where currently, but we still haven't been able to attack up to that group, although now just 64 riders are in the main peloton. A Viti is also done for the day. The likes of now getting dropped. He is uh, riding very well at the Vuelta in real life and 58 riders clinging on to this group now. Let's try and push it in the valley. So still just 64 riders then coming into the final 30K in the main group, Oliveira can maybe take over with Verona as well in a moment. And uh, Rojas is again doing a great job. Our domestiques have done a brilliant job today. Hopefully Mass and Soler and Valverde can deliver in the final to reward these guys for their great work today. Valverde is going to protect Emric Mass now with Soler on his wheel. He can take position to the front. Rojas is now done for the day. We now have Verona and Oliveira there to work with three minutes to the very front of the race. So this climb is so, so steep. I think it's an average of over 9%, but max of around 13%. Look at that Angleroo, oh my words. Oh my words, I'm worried about that climb, that is for sure. But Emmerich Mass doing very well, just staying in this group. In fact, Verona can try and protect him rather than Valverde at this stage. Oliveira hopefully can go at maybe 80 to the top of this climb, whilst hopefully dropping some more riders too. So Nelson Oliveira just about able to push this over the top and into the downhill sector. Emmerich Mass can sit up. Same with our other guys, of course. We're down to under 50 riders now in this group as dropping more than 10 riders on that climb right there. But Verona falls. That is an absolute nightmare. That is an absolute nightmare. Carlos Verona is down. He's unlikely going to get back in now either. Hopefully he can continue in the race, but that is just not ideal for our chances. So 12k to go. We have now reached the Angler Rue. We're going to try and take it steady from here. I think the break may have the stage win with Hugh Carthy pushing on ahead of these seven riders right here. But let's just maybe up this to 80 as we now have Martinez, Martin as well. And this could be an opportunity, you know, to try and attack with Alejandro Valverde too. Let's try and put him up the road. He is fourth place in GC so it will be interesting to see if they allow him to go up the rows here he's going to try though with this very very strong group attacking right here and it will be Godu doing the work at first Soler though is going to have to try and protect Emmerich Mass as this group has now exploded with Valverde trying to get up the rows sadly though Godu is just about going to catch him uh, so maybe we can try and kick away again 
with Valverde. Maybe not the best tactics. We're going to try and play it aggressively though today with Valverde getting up the rows. Emric Mas just staying with Primoz Roglic. But sadly for us, Valverde is caught again. So I'm going to give up on that. Valverde is going to protect Emric Mas with Solaire sat on his wheel. Let's try and move to the front of this group, even though Roglic is just slightly ahead of us. We're now on the Angleroo proper. 6.5k, well over 10% to the finish. This is going to be just so difficult. So, so difficult. We need to set our own tempo as 29 riders are now here at the front. Roglic, though, coming to the front. And Roglic is attacking away. Oh, my, oh, my. This is not ideal. We're now going to have to work with Valverde and Mass to, uh, or Valverde and Soler to try and help Emric Mass. But this is going to be so difficult with 5k to go. Look at our guy's energy. So Valverde is now done for the day. He will lose his position in GC. Marc Soler is going to try and tempo at just 72 to try and help Emric Mass into the final 4k, but really worries about Primoz Roglic today as Hugh Carthy looking very good for the stage win. But there is Roglic, not far now, but still three and a half k to go of this just absurd, absurd climb. And also Carapaz is also out the back. That is a pretty big moment as Soler is gonna be unable to get to Primoz Roglic before Emric Mas can get there. And Roglic kicks again into the final 3K. Mas is just gonna have to set his own tempo at maybe 70. Uh, we're really struggling today. We're gonna lose time to Roglic, it would seem, looking at his form today. And these percentages, 16.5%. Roglic kicks again. He could even be going for the stage win today as Mass losing time on his main rival and a heap of it too. Oh boy, this is too difficult for Mass. And Roglic is going to win the Vuelta today or put himself in a very, very strong position to do so. But behind us on the road, we do have the likes of Pino and pretty much everyone else in the GC battle. So we can't be disheartened with this performance today with one kilometer to go. Hopefully we can get to Formula and Woods. Hugh Carthy is going to win the stage and take the bonus second there. I think Roglic will pick up second place. Emric Mass trying to push it over the top of this little crest a few hundred meters before the finish. But let's just try and sprint. We're completely done. Roglic did get second in the end and it's not actually a terrible performance by Emric Mass today, just Roglic on a different level. We dropped pretty much everyone else in the GC today and just Primoz Roglic from a different planet. Sometimes in cycling, all you can say is chapeau. Chapeau to Hugh Carthy today, but also Primoz Roglic. Massive performance by him today on the Angleroo. Emric Mass did well. I mean, you can see we gained over a minute on Pino and to everyone else down here, Velasov. Carapaz as well, losing yet more time. Uh, we really gave up Valverde today for Emric Mas. He is down to fifth, but one minute and 23 to Primoz Roglic. It's still doable, but now looking very difficult with Roglic looking in imperial form. However, next up, we do have stage 13 and the individual time trial, a long one as well. This is going to be interesting with a big kick to the finish. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Drop a like on the video if you did. Drop a sub to my channel if you're new. I'll see you guys in the next one.